Hello, 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 people, everybody. I still had no sleep. I'm drinking my Arizona watermelon. I'm not sponsored by them, but I love this watermelon drink. It's my favorite. I got it from Rite Aid today, four for two dollars. Yummy. I'm just eating tonight. Um, chill, turkey chili with rice. I'm in the mood for something like that for dinner. Oh, I'm having a rough day today. Oh my God, my day is like oh. You know what I did? Oh my goodness, what I did. What I did, what I did, what I did. I dropped my phone in the dog's water. Yes, I dropped my phone in the dog's water. Then I went to go plug it in and it said, guess what it said? Moisture. And three million gallons. Yes, it's said moisture. Of course, I was freaking out on how to fix it. I didn't do the rice trick. No, I didn't do the rice trick, everybody. I had a different hack I did. I learned. I learned a different hack from a YouTube person a while back. I found this hack. I found this hack on YouTube a while back. It's hot right now, so I'm going to cool before I eat it. Where you take a Q-tip, you rub it on the bottom where the charger thing is. And then you take some alcohol, you put alcohol on the Q-tip, and then you rub that on the bottom of, of it for a little while. Then you take a hair dryer and you blow the hair dryer. Well, I did a hair dryer a while before that, too. I blew it on it for a while. And then I, then I blow it again. And it worked. I was so amazed. I was so happy. I was like, oh my goodness, it worked. I was like, because oh. I was going to do the rice if it didn't work. But that worked. That hack worked. That hack works. That hack works, people. Right, work for my phone. Just letting you know, that hack worked. That hack worked for my phone. Or moist. It fell. I mean, it completely fell in water. The whole phone fell in water. I dropped it by accident in water because my nerve. I just all of a sudden, everything was. I was in a rush and something just knocked in the water, dog's water. I was like, oh no. I was freaking out. I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? And then I remembered that hack that I, I saw. I tried it and it worked. I was like, oh, I was like, I go to fake. I said that was not going to work. And it worked. First, my hair dryer didn't want to work. I'm like, I went in the bathroom and I plugged in the wall and it didn't want to work. And then I plugged it in my other wall and it didn't want to work. I'm like, what the heck? Why is everything not want to work for me? What is going on today for me? Is everything going to go bad for me today? I was like, because like, like the lady at Rite Aid today, right, they had the buy one, get one free toilet paper. I didn't mind, right? She comes up to me then, when I, after a while, after I was carrying it all around the Rite Aid, she comes up to me saying, oh, just so you know, you only can get one of them, but you can get half price off of it if you really, if you really want to buy it. That was like bull crap. When like you, when it's supposed to be buy one get one free, they had it marked down as buy one get one free on the the tag on the the thing. They had it in the paper and everything. But and they had the sticker on it and everything. And then she comes up to me telling me, oh, then you can get just half. And then this other item that I had said buy one get one free. And she's like brings up my one and she's like. Oh, it's two thirty-three. If you want the other one, you can buy it for, you can buy it, you can buy it for two thirty-three too. You don't have, and when it's buy one get one free, she's like, you could buy it for the regular price. You don't have to buy. You, I'm like, never mind. If you're not gonna give me for buy one get one free, that's bullcrap. Trying to charge, try to double charge me, you know, when it's supposed to be buy one get one free, that's bullcrap. Right? That's bull crap. That's freaking, I'm like, then leave it for somebody else, you know? Freaking try and, you know, what the hell, right?
They love our country. Whatever. The world loves our country, most of it. It was like one of those days for me today. They just don't say it. I didn't say it earlier, but I just all. has now tested and given results. Gotten results I had some chilly mood today. 1.67 million people. That's far more than any other country has been able to do. Turkey chili. And you remember we inherited. It was canned chili, system, but it's okay. So a lot of this has been developed. All right. I'm 1, sorry, people. Brand new rapid point of care testing. Some canned foods are good, okay? Laboratories, great company. Especially now in this time, you know, I'm not going to be picky what kind of foods I start eating. I have meat too, but I can't be picky with foods, you know, it's going to be what I can get in the store. Especially prices of food now lately, it's going to be higher prices, I noticed. So I'm going to eat what I can eat, you know, and work with the Lord. One million six hundred and seventy thousand no. tests. Think of that. One million six hundred and seventy thousand tests. I love this water melon tests. And uh, we have a great system now. We're working with the states in almost all instances, but uh, we have a great system. And the other thing that we bought a tremendous amount of is the hydroxychloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, which. I, think I was just shocked I got my phone working. Oh, I was so scared that wasn't going to work. Right. I was so scared, people. And, and Everybody. Signs that it works on this, some very strong signs. <sighs> that, meantime, that relieved me a lot. Oh, oh my so goodness. You just saw me. I was so scared. I'm listening to Trump speak. Oh, yeah. Again, We're up to in our county, 61 people now. Sixty? Was it sixty or sixty-one? And sixty people. Sorry, sixty people. The, uh, Tomorrow they're going to show us the map. The heart problems, the as rhythmicin, as rhythmicin, uh, which will kill uh, certain things that you don't want living within your body. It's a powerful drug. If you don't have a, a problem, a heart problem, uh, we would say let your doctor think about it but as a combination i think they're going to be uh, i think there's two things that should be looked at very strongly now we have uh, purchased and we have stockpiled 29 million pills of the hydroxy chloroquine 29 million I think I was on that pill before. A lot of drugstores have them by prescription, and also, and they're not expensive. Uh, also, uh, we're sending them to various labs, our military, we're sending them to the hospitals, we're sending them all over. Oh, I just good. think it's something, just you know, something different today. I've used it for certain reasons. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? And a lot of people are saying that when, uh, and, and, and are taking it, uh, if you're a uh, doctor, a nurse, a first responder, a medical person going into hospitals, they say taking it before the fact is good, but what do you have to lose? They say take it. Uh, I'm not looking at it one way or the other, but we want to get out of this. If it does work, it would be a shame if we didn't do it early. Uh, but we have some very good signs. So I can't take it. It makes me sick. I was on it before. There's rhythmicin. I can't take it. Uh, and again, you have to go through uh, your medical people, get the approval. I can't take uh, it. But uh, I can't take that stuff. I've seen things that I saw in the black. So what do I know? I'm not a doctor. That hydro caught caught everyone. That pill that he's talking about. I can't take it. Uh, Makes me sick. Uh, good about it. They, as you know, I was on it before. Rapid approval, approval. And the reason because it's been Makes out there for sick. a long time. And they know the side effects. And Makes me sick. The potential. So based on that, uh, we have sent it throughout the country. We had a stockpile about uh, 29 million doses. I've been on 29 it before. 29 million doses. We have a lot of it. We hope it works. Driven by the goal of the brightest minds in science. We have the brightest minds in science, but we, we're driven by the goal of getting rid of this plague, getting rid of this scourge, getting rid of this virus. These brilliant minds are working on uh, 
the most effective antiviral therapies and vaccines. We are uh, working very, very hard. I have met many of the doctors that are doing it. These are good, actually. Are working so hard I was looking to pick up turkey uh, chili a while back. I have like two or three cans, I think. Staying, uh, we strongly recommend staying at home, practicing vigorous hygiene and maintaining social distance so you're, you're just not going to catch it. It's the most effective weapon in this war. And I will tell you the we are committing to the to you. We're committing I'm not to going to look forward to Tuesday because I didn't go shopping. Like few administrations, few people, few professionals have ever Shopping is going to be horrible. They are working so hard. I see them. I see them before my eyes exhausted. People that I'm dealing with every day exhausted. They haven't left. Uh, shopping is going to be terrible. Their offices, they I don't haven't like left their hospitals. We meet with them, we see them. And tremendous strides have been made. I think the vaccines, uh, we'll have a report of that. But Shopping's going to be bad. I don't want countries. to go out there. With other countries. Many other countries. I got to, I got to and stop. We all want everyone else to be first. We're very happy that we are very far down the line on vaccines. We'll see how that all works. Johnson & Johnson's uh, doing a great job, working very hard. A vaccine would be great therapy, a therapy, therapeutic. Tomorrow I got my counselor calling from Renewal House. Uh, in the meantime, you may listen to what I said about the two drugs mentioned. My administration is rapidly implementing the largest emergency economic relief package in the history. I got them calling me. See what's been happening. Talk about stuff. Small business loans have already been it's good for me to talk about get, different things, you know. Protection program. So we went out on Friday, and literally, it's become so popular. We work with the banks to get it to the small business. It's all about employment. It's good. all about jobs. Want you to keep your jobs. Give small business funding to keep the workers on the payroll. And we're sending direct cash payments to millions of Americans and rushing aid to I like rice and peas. I like, I like, um, once in a while. Turkey chili uh, is not too bad. And if we do more, we're going to do more. We're going to try and get directly to people that are hit so hard. But we're going to take care of our workers. We're going to take care of our citizens. We're going to take care of our small uh, businesses. Sore. We're going to take care of our large businesses, the airplane industry, the, the airline industry. Do, do. A lot of great industries that we have that are in trouble because of what took place over the last two or three years. These are industries that were doing better for the most part. I'm trying to be happy. The airlines are doing great. It sucks though. I'm sorry. It's just so sad for those people down in New York. It's so scary. That my, you know, I'm lucky I'm up in the north. I was just so shocked today that Cuomo talked about the north country. So sitting here watching Cuomo speak, I wasn't going to talk about that. I'm sitting here and all of a sudden he says the north country. He never talked about the north country when I am sitting here watching it. I was so amazed he mentioned the north country. He always talked about Albany or Buffalo. In other places, first time he said North Country. I was so amazed. First time he said North Country. I was shocked. Because the North Country is where I'm at. I'm only in the North Country. I'm only up in the North Country. I was so amazed he said North Country. No. I was so amazed. But you saw my other video when I almost cried when he talked about body bags and that stuff. That was so sad. I couldn't help him. It's terrible. Sorry, people. When I see that stuff and hear that stuff, I'm sorry. I can't help it. Sitting here listening to this, I'm sorry you guys are hearing this stuff too when I'm watching it. I can't. I just. I gotta listen to it. You know. I gotta see what's updated. They're rushing into war. They're rushing into war. And I see people from apartment houses screaming and shouting and, and singing their praises. 
I gotta look, I gotta see what, you know. These doctors and nurses, they're running into buildings and they're literally putting it on as the doors are opening. They're putting all their stuff and running inside. I gotta see what happens because, you know, what if something changed, you know? What if they say lockdown or something, you know, and I don't know about that, you know? Your prayers. Because New York is you know. Who have lost loved ones. Ask God to comfort them in their hour. Yes, so that's why I gotta keep up knowing what's updated. Our nation for the world. Even if I don't want to hear it. This morning, I'm talking 151 for four days. I said 151. 151 countries this morning. It's 182 countries. It jumped up a lot. So as of this morning, it's 182 this countries. This disease is so scary, people. From this monster. Terrible. With the faith of our families and the spirit of our people and the grace of our God, we will endure, we will overcome, we will prevail. We have learned so much. We will be stronger than ever. And I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank the incredible professionals on the it's just terrible people. Good meeting today. That was good. All day long through so many different people. And I think our package to get everyone working when we're ready is really turning out to be successful. We may have to make it larger because it's been really successful. But all of that comes back to this country. Uh, we want to get them back. We want to get our people back to work. Everybody wants to be back. We want to open up our country as soon as possible. So with that, I'm going to ask Dr. Burks to say a few words and uh, cut some charts to show you. And thank you very much. Thank you. Uh. I hope everybody's doing good. I hope. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I hope everybody's staying see safe. The hopeful signs in Italy and Spain, where we I hope see everybody's new cases not having a hard time with stuff. It's and giving us hope of what our future My area is like so so, you know. You see some of the stuff I'm going through. I'm not bored. I just. I'm just um, depressed about Center, all the other week, stuff, to, uh, you know, the, the people dying and the, you know, trying to not Liberty catch Liberty that. Liverpool, I don't mind the being at home part, just the, the other area. stuff is getting to me, people. Line, I don't like seeing all the people Louisiana. dying. That, that hurts me so bad. And then really does. And are in those lines that hurts me so line. bad, people. And then, of course, all those innocent DC people. So many people. Map, um, which was too many. Before. Too many people are dying. I just. Next slide, oh, so many so people dying. Too many, you know, it's not like a normal thing, not like, I know people die every day, but this is not normal, you know, this is, this is, you know, you know what I mean, this is, this is different, you know, you know, people die every day, every, you know, every minute, every, you know, but this is too many, you know. Too many people are leaving the earth. New Jersey's is increasing, however, they're now up to forty two percent. A lot of people gotta get burned and that's sad, you know. Louisiana, twenty five percent. The ones who don't, they're lucky, you know, but the ones who have to get burned and stuff and then sad. Washington eight percent and the ones have to be stuck in the freezer in the trucks, you know. Is that um, 12%. I don't want to be on here crying, but all that. So if we could go back one. I'm sorry. Go back oh. one slide. One more. That's that's all what that's what here. gets me. You know that that's what's states, depressing. You know that's the depressing cases, part. And then people don't believe it. You know people think it's fake. You know people think it's not real. And you know. People think it's all fake. And, so this is how we're tracking and you know, that's, that's what's sad. That's what's sad. I see it with so my eyes, too. Area, you know, I see people dying um, and sleep, you know. And a series in Washington State. 
Oh, what really baby? What baby? What? I love you. I love you. I love you. You say hi. Come and say hi. Come and say hi. You say hi. You say hi. You say hi to the camera. You say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. I love you. I love you. I love you. My baby. My baby. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You're my baby. My baby girl. She's my baby. She knows I'm sad. She knows I'm sad. We want to make sure that we're meeting the needs both on She's cases a good girl. and really appreciating the frontline healthcare workers that are receiving the needs. I love you. She's a good girl. This just gives She's you an idea. I love her so You're much. We're also tracking um, St. John the Baptist Parish. <sighs> this would she be makes me happy. New Orleans and Jefferson I'm so County happy to have her in my life. On a case by case basis to look for changes over time. Um, and next makes slide me is happy. their um, mortality. And you can see it's starting to stabilize. So this is how we've been tracking and tracing the epidemic as it moves through states and counties. I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Hope you all stay safe. I love you all. Be, stay strong. Stay happy. Stay positive. Try to be safe out there. I know it's tough. Everybody be strong, okay? You got to stay strong, everybody. I know it's rough out there. I'm trying my best. Sorry I try to bring you bad news sometimes and to talk about this stupid disease, but I need to I need to vent about it, okay? Because if I don't, I'll be I'll be messed up. So some that's why I'm talking about it because if I don't, it's just gonna get to me. So I'm trying to be positive about everything too myself. I've seen a lot of people today with masks. So a few people, some people know. There was people with masks today, so that was a good that was a good thing. A few people. There was few people today, so that's a positive thing. But some know. So I'm hoping people start listening, you know? I'm hoping. Because there's 60 cases now in my county. Tomorrow they're going to show the map, and there'll be more tomorrow. I'm pretty sure of it. They're just slowly bumping up it. It's going up. Not good. Soon we'll be 100 or 200 or 300 and up and up and up. Hopefully not, but... I hope this mess goes away soon. But you all have a good night or good day. Thank you for watching me. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.